Hey guys, it's Miss Miklos, and um, this lecture is actually going to be pretty short, and we are going to be talking about word problems. So, um, this was actually on the Law of Signs um, page on your notes. Um, the two problems that I'm going to go through will actually be using Law of Signs, but on the homework that corresponds with this, part of it is we need to figure out should we use Law of Signs or use Law of Cosines. So, um, our first problem, two hunters who had pre-calculus in high school, are named Paul and Roger. They are standing 100 yards apart. Paul spots a deer at an angle of 25 degrees and 50 minutes away from the line to Roger. If Roger spots the same deer at an angle of 32 degrees and 45 minutes, how far is the deer from Paul and how far is the deer from Roger? So just a reminder, whenever we have a word problem, um, the first thing we want to do is just kind of highlight the important info. So I think it's important that they're 100 yards apart. I also think those two angles are pretty important. Second thing I want to do is draw a picture. And um, if you're a fabulous artist, go for it. Draw people, draw a deer. Um, I'm just going to say, okay, here's Paul, here's Roger, and here's the deer because we know that all of these um, word problems should somehow end up in a triangle. Now the info that I highlighted, we know that they are 100 yards apart. It tells me that Paul, spot, Paul spots a deer 25 degrees and 50 minutes away from the line to Roger. We've learned previously um, that with 25 degrees and 50 minutes, with those minutes, we need to take those and divide by 60 because there's 60 minutes in one degree, and I end up getting 25.8 degrees. Um, the last piece of information we said was the angle from Roger to the deer is 32 degrees and 45 minutes. When I convert that, I end up getting 32.8 degrees. And we need to find the distance from Paul to the deer and the distance from Roger to the deer. Okay, so looking at this, um, we kind of said in general when we're only talking about one angle, we use law of cosines. When we're dealing with two angles, we use law of sines. So the fact that I already know two angles is telling me we are most likely going to use law of sines here. Lastly, well not really lastly, additionally, um, I can find this third angle. I know it's 121.4 degrees. And I figured that I needed to know that because law of sines deals with opposite values, so this angle and its opposite side. And I could find this angle by using our triangle sum theorem. So now we're ready to go ahead and set up our problem. So I'm going to find x first. So I'm going to say x over the sine of 32.8 degrees equals 100 over the sine of 121.4 degrees. My guess is that we are pretty good at going through and um, solving these at this point. So I'm just going to let you know when we cross multiply and divide, I should end up getting 63.5 yards. So that's how far away Paul is from the deer. Now, I also need to figure out how far away is Roger from the deer. So I'm going to go ahead and set up y over sine of 25.8 degrees equals 100 over the sine of 121.4 degrees. And when I put this in, I get that y is equal to 50.9, so I'm going to say 51.0 yards. Okay, so quite honestly, um, our word problems aren't that much tougher than um, just using law of sines or law of cosines. It just requires a little bit more thought. And I think we're capable of that. Okay, number nine. It says, a surveyor wants to find the distance from a rock on the east side of the river to a tree on the opposite bank. On the east side of the river, he locates a second rock 135 feet away from the first one. From each rock, he measures the angle between the line connecting the two rocks and the tree. The angle from the first rock is 87 degrees, and the angle from the second rock is 82 degrees. Find the desired distance. Okay, so I already highlighted the stuff that I thought was kind of important. 
And I'm going to go ahead and draw a lovely tree right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and draw a rock and a second rock. And I know that those three things form a triangle. They told us that two rocks are 135 feet away from each other. Um, the angle from the first rock is 87 degrees, and the angle from the second rock is 82 degrees. And we want to go ahead and figure out how far away is the first rock from the tree. So the first thing that I'm going to figure out is this missing angle, which ends up being 11 degrees. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I totally drew this backwards, but it doesn't even matter that I don't know my east from my west. Okay, all that matters is that we can draw out the triangle. Anyways, um, the pieces of information that match, I know 11 degrees goes with 135. So I'm going to say 135 over sine of 11 degrees equals... And if I'm finding side x, I'm going to have to use 82 degrees. So I'm going to say x over sine of 82 degrees. When I cross multiply and divide, I get x is equal to 700.6 feet. So as you guys go through the word problem worksheet, make sure you are figuring out what information is important and then you're drawing yourself a picture to help you determine what formula you need in order to solve.